<laughs> Hello, everyone. It is Dana with Honeycomb Creative. Um, I am at home today getting all the things done. And I was supposed to jump on early this morning, and I did not because I was getting all the things done. So I'm on here now, and I'm showing you this dresser that we started the beginning of the week. And um, I'm showing you now what I'm doing next. I'm going to add transfers to it. It was a very rough um, dresser, and we ended up filling it with putty and all the things, but it just still is a little rough. So um, I'm going to put transfers on it and have fun with it, and then I'll end up waxing the whole piece. I'm probably going to do an aging wax, and wax is really good over the transfers. It seals them, and um, yeah, so you want to seal it for sure. You want to go over it with something. So. Uh, the waxing will be the next step and I'll show you that we also did that lamp and I'll be waxing that tonight or today I'll show you that after I do some of these transfers so this was painted in the damask and then we'll be using the liming wax over that okay so I'm just gonna get started so these come in a tube these transfers this one is the um, etymology one with all the bugs and butterflies and birds frogs it's a really fun one so they come in a tube but they are iod is transferring over to like a pad of um pages for transfer so you'll see me using those in the future too so this one i just decided to hide some of the imperfections i'm going to kind of do butterflies flying i have ferns on the bottom and that's a different set so i'm using two different sets I was cutting them up. I'll use these for several projects because you get so much out of them. Here's the, you'll see my, it was all, I cut out a bunch, but look how much I have left for some fun projects to do. Okay, so I kind of picked the neutral tones, um, black and whites, some of the beiges, just kind of keeping it neutral. So I cut it all up, kind of laid it out. Normally you want to use painter's tape. I used, um, packaging tape because my painter's tape I don't know where it's at right now so I felted the packaging tape so it doesn't pull off the paint so I like put it on my leg and you know on my pants to try to get it so it's not so sticky so although it's still pretty sticky so if it pulls the paint off I'm gonna be doing um the wax over it anyway so these when you get them you're gonna cut them to what you want to use and they have a backing on it. So when I go to store this, it's really important that I staple kind of all around and then ro roll this up and keep it maybe in a baggie or something just to keep it from kind of drying out or getting lint on it and stuff because at that point they're not usable. So this tape really didn't work, Aaron. But anyways, Aaron's in the kitchen. Say hello, Aaron. Hello. And Emma's in the kitchen also. <laughs> We're doing gingerbread houses tonight, and we're gonna, we hot glue our gingerbread houses together that are graham crackers, because we don't really eat them, so it's just easier than frosting. You just get a good base. Okay, so you can see those are kind of sticky back. So I went ahead and just, um, I stuck it there. There's lots of grooves where this is at. So I'm going to use my little tool here that comes with this little stick. And I'm just going to rub it and you'll be able to hear it kind of release and you'll be able to see it turn foggy and you can help it along the way a little the nice part of fusion with transfers is fusion has the built-in top coat so it kind of needs that top coat um, to adhere to a little bit if you use like a real chalky uh, finish it sometimes doesn't like to stick to that so you got to put a top coat on it and then put it on okay so there you can see I'm kind of rubbing it this is called burnishing and usually you can use a rag or I just use my hand sometimes you just want to soften the or make sure it's all down and push it down real good okay so you can see that and now it kind of cracked in those grooves a little but I, I think that's fine because it's going to be waxed over it So, I'll do another one. <laughs> I want a fizzy drink. <laughs> Bring me a LaCroix. Okay, I'm 
I did this one so that you can see there there's some imperfections. Aaron really tried to um, salvage this veneer which was really tough. So I'm going to go over it with the butterfly. So I'm pushing down first, kind of smooth it out. These are so fun. They're quite addicting. There, we have so many different kinds. And these are on the website as well. I need to update all the transfers because I've gotten some new ones in. But um, you can use these for so many different things. Furniture, signs, you can put them on pots, notebooks, journals. Just, you can have fun with them. Have I got any ideas? Emma's over there hot gluing. We can do our houses together. I kind of love the neutral tones of these butterflies. Aren't they cool? If you have any questions, you can ask me. Maybe I'll post in the comments some other dressers I've done using the um, transfers. I've done end tables. So, note to self, don't ever use packaging tape because it kind of makes a bigger job for you. Okay, I'm going to push it down again. So, I'm hoping this is going to just look pretty and soft and fun. Whoop. So, there I kind of messed up his wing a little. I was paying attention to the camera. So, I've got that little piece right there. You can't really screw up too much with these. So, try to fix that. There. see that pulling right away. So you can see I kind of that wing a little, but I just added it back on there. And if it really was like gone, I could just take a piece from something else and add it to it. So it's really kind of forgiving. All right, I'll do a few more of those and I'll show you how to wax that lamp using the liming wax. So Krista's at the shop right now. We are open till 6. So if you need some gifts, we've been selling lots of gift certificates. So don't forget we have that. Um, you can use the gift certificates for the supplies too. Should you put the transfer into the crevices? Yes, you're going to push them into the crevices a little, Donna. Hello, Donna. Yep. Okay, so here I have the split of a, dr a dresser drawer. So once I'm done with that transfer on, I'll go back with an X-Acto knife and just kind of slice it there. This is an evolving dresser. I'm not even sure what the hardware is going to look like yet. So. so again, these transfers are at the shop. We have flowers and um, what else do we have? Um, help me think <laughs> oh words yeah the, yeah I could have used that behind some of these that would have been cool like French style words Oops. there's some that kind of give you a layout like they're formed like a layout so you don't have to not much thought into it you just put it on and go for it Okay, so once I put the wax on over this, which I'll do later once I get all of this on there. Um, see the ferns down here? Ferns are my favorite. Then it will seal all of this. And then it, my wax, I'm gonna use an aging wax, so it'll get all in these crevices too. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So, all right, now I'm gonna show you how to 
wax this lamp. I guess I can stand up now. I'm on my... Sorry. Huh? There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to wax this lamp, and I'm going to use the liming wax on this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use the sliming wax, and I love Fusion's wax because it is super creamy. It's not stiff. You don't have to work it too hard. It's going to work for you. Okay. So this sliming wax is just a little white. Um, I just love how it turns out. So I'm using a wax brush. Thanks. And I'm just going to liberally go all over my lamp. And this will just get in all the grooves. Now, because Fusion has a top coat already in it, the wax isn't it doesn't suck in quite like on chalk paint. So sometimes you do have to let it sit for a little bit and dry a second before you buff it out. I'm just going to work this in here. I really like how this lamp turned out. This was like a um, kind of a oak colored dated lamp. It's wood, but I've definitely painted brass lamps and all kinds of stuff. So. So well, let me know in the comments if there's other things you'd love me to do a live on or a video on, or you want to know more information. You can even message me. It helps me with, um, you know, what to show everyone when I do these. Spinning this guy around. until six. I think you can say that. All these products are um, on our website also. Uh, this, this lamp might actually go very nicely with this dresser. It's just soft colors. Okay. All right. So if I started buffing it now, it would pretty much take off most of the wax. So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and um, and then it should, you know, catch in all those grooves and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so I'll switch over to doing some more transfers um, while we're waiting for that to dry for a second. I'm going to do some of the ferns down there. Where did I put my tissues? So I'll do this big fern. So he's gonna, this fern is gonna hang, kind of gonna hang off. So I'll, um, I kind of want it to flow off of it. I don't want it to be like just perfectly placed on there. I tend to like to go um, a little bit where I have to cut them off. I'm kind of just using my hand to form it onto the different grooves. There's a lot of moldings down here. This one is um, the botanic, or it's not botanical, I forget what this is called. I think it's called ferns. But it has like the botanical names also. I'm not gonna use that piece, but uh, which is kind of fun. So you could do even like three pictures or whatever if you're doing like a picture wall and use these if you are a fern person like me. Yeah, you can see there's the name right there. And you can also like lay these out and then take your drawers out and do it like on a table so you're not doing it <laughs> this way. This was just the easiest for me to show right now. It's a little springy of a piece, but of course it's a little 
starting to Hobby Lobby. It's not far away. <laughs> Everything is spring at Hobby Lobby. It's crazy. feel it's like not ready to release yet. Let's just go over it again. You can help it along a little, but you don't want to tug too much. find those paper plates on to put those on? I bought those good sturdy ones. Yeah, yeah, there's good like sturdy ones that give more room. I don't usually do a gingerbread house, but I think I'm doing one tonight. It's usually just the kids. Let's see. Can you see that or is it like just... phone might be still crackly from getting, I'm going to have to get a new phone, I think. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I hear you talking about me over there. Okay, so this is kind of the tricky part because you want it to, so that we're going over kind of molding. The nice part of IOD transfers is they kind of make them look distressed anyway, so. As you can see, that one's almost, I have it taped here, but. Look how pretty that is. Almost done. And then we'll look at the lamp, and then I'm gonna jump on. Thanks for joining me. You can always watch these replays too. I must have picked the hardest one to do. this quiet. This is what I need to do is just go live. <laughs> Although the boys aren't here right now. <laughs> that one I goofed a little. I might have to do a little touch up. So see, don't be too stressed with these. Doesn't that look so nice? I love it. So this is going to have lots of character to it for sure. But it'll be fun. Alright, so let me bring that lamp down here and buff that. Alright, so you can see we waxed it. Kind of hard to tell. Then you're just going to take t-shirt material. feels like too much is coming off you can always just use your brush and just um, or let it dry more or just put more on and leave it that you can leave it as is and then buff it once it's completely dry it gives a nice sheen and a nice really nice smooth feel the wax does you make a mistake with wax you just put more wax over it and it kind of like erases it
two are being I'm see how that gives a <laughs> save the can do for the houses so you can see that sheen it gives it a little more of a sheen of course I have a light behind me too so it's kind of blaring on there but um I love the look I you won't be able to really really tell right now but once it's all done and you'll see it at the shop with a nice little lampshade and I'll post a picture of it so Awesome. Let me know if you have any questions about Fusion or transfers or the stamps. And um, we'll be keep doing these videos so you can get some ideas. And let us know if you have questions. And have a good night.